Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you a poison build. So, what I am currently using is Marsha, and she just has Blind Blow, Momentum. Momentum is a very key card in this particular build, so you are going to want this. Then we have two Reckless Gases, Accelerate. Get as many accelerates as you can. I would say at least two more than what I have. Um, at least two spores. But you can, every time you get a, another accelerate, you can cut a spore or cut a reckless gas. Up to you. Then, for by energy gainer, it's going to be Beardini. And she's rocking blind blow with a bunch of enlightens. Momentum another key card uh, meditate open mind uh, premonition and refresh just to kind of help out a little bit so let's get on into it and one of Marsha's ability that she has is a uh, whenever you apply a poison uh, apply it on the Play an additional one poison to all enemies. So pretty nice. So right off the bat, we got the card that I want, Momentum. Actually, we got both of them. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get our energy up. Then we're going to use Momentum. Then we're going to apply po poison everything. And that way we keep drawing our cards. Okay, this is good. I definitely want this. So right now we are pretty much golden. We got everything that we need. As long as we get momentum, we are pretty much golden. So we're gonna get our energy up right now. Get some more energy. One more triple energy. There we go. We are pretty much ready. Actually, I want to see if momentum stacks. So let's see. Should draw two cards. Oh, only okay. So it does not stack. So I learned something today. <laughs> so yeah, once you get to this point where you exhaust a lot of your uh, Beardini's cards, you could just keep casting poison until you are satisfied with the damage. And once you are done, see that is definitely enough damage. Then I could just. Stop and end turn. And that is how you do that. Um, so let me find a another enemy. Hopefully it'll put me in a different situation. I got pretty lucky. Like the card that you want is momentum. That is what's really gonna determine the fight, really. Okay, so we got momentum again. That's good. So, I'm going to get our energy up, just in case. Then we're going to draw. And we're pretty much set. As long as we have momentum and energy, we are good to go. Then just start casting all your poisons. More poisons. Now you can speed up the fight with your accelerates. And then just end the fight. So that is why accelerates are very nice. I'll do one more and then we can talk about some other synergies with this particular build. see if we uh, get the correct cards here okay so this is a situation I was that you might run into where you don't get momentum and that's why I have so many draw cards so this gives you a chance to get momentum again so I'm gonna pop this hopefully we get momentum okay we don't so this is a one downside of the build is when you run out of your draws and you're pretty much gonna have to take damage 
but that is why I pumped up a lot of armor so I can negate a lot of that damage that I'm going to be taking. And there we go. We got our momentum. That's all we need. Once you get that, you are golden. do my energy. Mm, let's see if we can get... Oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. Now nah, we're good. I got a little carried away. This should be enough damage anyways. We can accelerate that. Pop a little bit more on the other guy. And we're good. Okay, let's go back to town and let me uh, show you guys some other options. Alright, let's go into my spirit barn. So another guy you can add to your party is Ribite. And the reason for that is whenever a enemy dies, transfer any poison it has to a random enemy. So this is pretty nice if you're in one of those situations where you, you have to let the enemy go on their turn. Um, so this comes in handy too, because if they die, then all the poison's going to transfer to the next, uh, enemy. So this is really nice. Now, in the beginning of the game, I would recommend Bane, because there's a good chance you're just going to be versing one enemy. So there you go, you get free energy. But late game, like mid and late game, you are not going to want to use this or run this. Uh, because you're going to be running into a lot of multiple enemies and you really just don't need Bane. So cut these out, run some blind blows, get a few reckless. Now I don't have enough um, remove cards to get rid of a lot of this stuff so that's why I did not include him in this video. But I would cut, if you are going to use Ribeye, I would cut almost all of this and strictly run only like one AoE poison and a bunch of accelerates. And that's probably all I would do, really. Or actually, probably just run probably four blind blows, one AoE poison, and the rest accelerates. Probably like two or three more accelerates. And then you're good. So that is another option to add more synergy to your party. But I cannot uh, decrease all of his cards because I ran out of um, my uh, cleansings. So that's an additional option. So let's go back into my medallion and let's talk about their stats a little bit. So on Marsha, I ran about 15 armor. Now you don't have to go crazy with this speed. But I wanted to make sure I go first in the battle, so that's why my speed is so high. Now if you have a teammate that has ridiculous amount of speed, you can just drop all of the speed and put it all into power. The more power you have, the more poison you're going to be doing, so it does help. Now we're going to talk about Beardini a little bit. I ran 20 armor just to be a little bit more tanky. And this particular Be Beardini has a lot of speed because um, she is a breaker. And uh, I put a little bit into vitality and almost nothing into power because once again she is just a um, energy gainer slash breaker. And that's about it. Hopefully uh, this gives you guys some ideas and um, have fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.